So now that Toast is in here, someone mm-hmm. needs to take over the role of the host. And I think I am the most suited person to do so. So welcome to the fourth Offline TV podcast, everyone. How are you all doing today? Skara, let's start with you. Um, well, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, Thank you, Skara. Michael? Thank you, Michael. I'm Yvonne? Good. Welcome, Michael. Thanks. This is at right. the first episode after Michael got announced. Ah, yes. can we talk yeah. about all Thank those you, times? Thank you, for no. saying nice things about Wait, me, I unlike some nice. really jaded and angry people to my left. <laughs> I am. I know. Scar, he's I'm pretty. I'm he's pretty pretty he's been talking Fuck. about you, hundred percent. So <laughs> <laughs> that was cringe. Sorry, I'm toast. Sorry. Host? Okay. Um. Uh. We're gonna talk about the holidays because Ooh. the holidays. Can we also talk about how hard it was? To keep lying to our viewers that Michael Reeves did not live in the I, house. I didn't have a problem. I, I don't think it was a problem for I anyone else. I was so else. stressed I don't every single time that I heard his voice outside my room. I'm like, oh, don't worry, guys. He's just driving over and visiting like every single time, mm-hmm. like three times a day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like really hard. Yeah. But now the lies and deception can oh, stop. They paid off. It, yeah. it was yeah. good. Yeah, nobody w- knew. Was it was it even was it the hardest when you were in his room and started your stream? Was that like the the hardest <laughs> m- moment or? Cause that yeah, how tough was that? Tough was that? Can <laughs> we can we move on? <laughs> I'm not proud of that. Okay, I, am I. I, didn't, I didn't realize. Okay, either. we both did. Can we just move I, on? As a host, you have to guide the discussion. Okay, if you fine. Try to Let's move guide the, the decep- topic on. De- deception. Deception. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys like to lie about? Mm. <laughs> I lied to my parents all the time when I was a kid, like mm-hmm. all the time. Out really? Of fear. Yeah. They would Out always not let me do, like they wouldn't let me do anything. Can I go to, over to my friend's house? If it was a boy, it's like, no, mm. you know? So I had to lie to them And say the it was a girl. And say I it was see. a girl. I, I only had girlfriends. I never had got, I never had guy friends. Ah, uh, in your parents' eyes. Yeah. Okay, I think that's very really common amongst mm-hmm. like girls in general. My parents were exactly the same way. Mm-hmm. Like when I went out, I had to tell one of my girlfriends to be like, hey, can you say hi to my mom? Yeah. And then she was like, hi, Mrs. P. You, Lily is here with me, and my mom would be like, "Oh, okay, you're fine." Like yeah. that's literally all it took. Really? Yep. Yes, actually. Mm. And if it was a guy, it'd be like, "Come home this instant!" Like, what are you doing? Like, yep. it's just Ooh, weird. Nice. Mm, anyway, yeah. I was gonna talk about the holidays, but you know, if you want to talk about lies, that's fine. <laughs> Michael, tell us some of your lies. Mm. Mm. I lie to myself every day, mostly. Mm. Um, oh. I lied to no, I, I lied to my parents a lot as well. Mostly about what I was doing. You know, you have that one uh, friend who's like good in your parents' eyes. Oh, yeah. You know you know mm-hmm. who that is. Mm-hmm. It's like, and then you have them say hello to them and it's mm-hmm. like, oh, everything is fine. And then like uh, immediately go back to drinking or something. And yeah. yeah. And they go back to doing it too. But they're actually shitty people. Yeah. I oh, was that wow. friend. Wow. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I, mean, I thought you had a friend. Well, yeah, the very... That was a very good deception. Oh, yeah. Mm. Very Looking deceptive. Him, I'm not I like surprised. it. What about you, Scara? What do you, what do you lie about? Mm, them, I tell my stream I'm going to start my stream on time. <laughs> Every day they good believe one. You. another the sucker internet's gets born. Internet's not going to cut out and yeah. there won't be oh, yeah. this yeah, time yeah. too. You give yeah. them a little bit of hope. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love... So, so my favorite part about getting lied to or lying or getting lied to is when um, every time I move, I call the ISP or someone calls the ISP the, the week before or two weeks before. Yes, the internet's wonderful here. And, mm-hmm. and the ISP says something completely bullshit and then the week we move in, they tell us, oh, that person lied. I love that part. So mm-hmm. right now, our internet is so spotty that only one person can stream at a time. Mm-hmm. Today, Correct. Scar and I had to carve out blocks of time, yes. and we're going to yeah. do the same thing. She streamed two and a half hours yesterday, and I streamed four hours today. Yeah. No, I streamed two and a half hours today. Oh, wait, that, I that's streamed seven yeah, minutes yeah. yesterday, Scar. Yes. And I stopped because you were streaming. Yeah, that was my fault. No, no, it wasn't your fault. It's the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, you're right. It's, it's, not, the it's not our fault. fault. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So back to holidays. You guys ready for Christmas? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. What are you thankful for? That's the wrong That's holidays. Thanksgiving, yeah. bud. <laughs> <laughs> wait, are, are all of us staying for the holidays? Yes. 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 Ah, uh, uh, you ruined it. For three days. Uh, that's it. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna be gone. You guys aren't even. Gonna, you guys are just gonna sneeze and I'll be back. Fucking nerd. You know, what? The to be fair, we're not really gonna holidays. do much. Honestly. Are you serious? Well, we're doing something. Yeah, a Christmas stream. 
Oh, oh, that's what you meant. (laughs) (laughs) I'm down to Christmas stream. No, I have no idea. We should Christmas stream. Really? That'd be cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm down to do something. Wait, whose stream is it on? Oh, you want to talk about this after the podcast? Uh, I'm alpha now. I'm assertive now, remember? Oh, let's talk. I demand that I should put it on my stream. Michael's first stream in Christmas. Michael says he doesn't want to stream, though. Oh, yeah. Do you want to? Not soon. See? Ah. No, you gotta yeah. say it because now you get dibs. I've it's been like, trying to guess. Say, like, like, yeah, I want my like first my stream. Like, it could be like, on. Or, and oh, like, yeah, yeah. And to think maybe I should wait until the stream's gonna start at January 2020. Ah. It's not working very well. It's gonna work. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. I feel like the more I say his stream's gonna start at January 2020, like. You're like, you're just like. Kind of visualizing it, yeah, and hope yeah. it becomes a reality. I, it's gonna become a reality. Oh, yeah. I assure you, That's, it's gonna be, become a reality. The best part about reality is when he streams, but it's not on Twitch. I'm like, it's on like D. <laughs> <laughs> it's on something like that. It's on Instagram. I want to be. Yeah. I actually would be surprised if Michael did that. Him, All right. Him impued. Do you guys have any fond memories of your past Christmases? Like, what did we do last Christmas? Something what did we do last Christmas? Fun. What did we do last Christmas? Do you guys what remember? Did you guys what did we do? do? Yeah, what last did we do last Christmas? Christmas. <laughs> what did we do I last gave Christmas? You my heart. <laughs> we didn't the have Michael last Christmas. Day, you gave it away. We're gonna get copyrighted. Can you please? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you can't sing Crap. it. I don't really. I don't. Wow, well, I don't remember. Well, I know I spent it with you guys. Yeah, same. Yeah, I, just I know. Don't same. Remember. And what the? Fuck? Did you know about us last Christmas last year? Huh? Did you know about us last Christmas? I knew of you, yeah. Of you? We were, yeah. Mm. Who was your favorite member last Christmas? Yeah, who was your oh. favorite member? Oh. You know? You're looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's okay. Okay, okay, so nothing's changed. That's you know great. he was a fan oh. because he actually bought our merch. Yeah. I like, that's actually oh. crazy. Yeah. I can't. Well, that's well, actually well, true. I, I thought that was the case, and then I looked at what he normally wore. <laughs> it's all YouTuber <laughs> yeah. merch. And I was like, hmm. That is true. He's the sucker we, go, we get every time. Yeah. But he did yeah. buy our merch, so that I like he was a fan. Mm-hmm. Any channel I like, I will buy their merchandise. Oh, so that's no. cute. Did you buy my merch? Every time he likes someone, he said Lily. <laughs> I actually, I gave him a free hoodie. So, mm, yeah. I do own. Yeah, so, see, but now you have offline TV merch that you get anyway. You know? I actually don't, and I'm running out of clothes because we don't have a washer dryer. Okay, this well, is my last our shirt. Dryer my is coming on Monday. <laughs> Wait, I actually need the washer dryer. I need to wash it really. Bad. I know. You can wash your clothes, just dry, air dry. Just hand, hand wash them. Just do what me and Lily do. Just wear the same clothes. Like, I actually don't wear the same well, thing. I actually you have guys a lot of clothes do that do I suck that. Yeah. You know, I, I knew actually don't how do often this. people she's, did she's the laundry, not, right? Oh, I lived. Oh, yeah. No, I, I have so many clothes. Clothes that it doesn't matter. Like ah. I can literally last three months without laundry because I have that many clothes. Wait, yeah, that sounds crazy. about right. She did her laundry every three months. <laughs> you did your laundry every week. Toasted his laundry every week. I think Fed also did his. How laundry often every you do your laundry months. is like um, indicative of how many how clothes, many clothes yeah. you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's true. So, mm-hmm. uh, mine's like every two weeks. Mm. So holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we'll get to that topic. Okay, so religion. <laughs> Where are we going to religion? As a host, would would uh, what do you think about religion? So, have you guys ever been religious in your life? I was raised religious. I was too. raised religious. What about you, Ivan? Mm, nope. My parents were like a little superstitious about things. There's like some like Chinese like stuff that they believed in, but like they were never really like super like into religion either. Mm. Yeah. So I like also never really was really into it. Mm. Wow, good talk. All right, so about Christmas. <laughs> what are you guys most excited for about Christmas? Am I being a good host? I'm trying really hard. Uh, oh, maybe Christmas. Yeah, pretty good. Wait, I want to know what you guys did like the very first Christmas. I wasn't here. Like, like what was the first oh. offline TV Christmas? Oh, let me tell you about the first time? offline TV Christmas. So. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, as a fan, you should yeah. know. <laughs> uh, I think we streamed that one. Did, yeah. Was that the Christmas tree one where Fed broke a tree? Yes, that was the one where Fed stayed up to like 3 a.m. and broke like a fucking bench. I remember uh. this. Wait. Wait. To- Wait a to- second. Toast? Hey, man. Do you want my spot? Are you actually going to do this? Wait, are you kicking your bun out? Thank you. I'm covering you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you serious? She got ready for... So she got... Yvonne, you can share my mic if you want. No, 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 it's okay. I understand. It's fine. Well... No, Yvonne, no, no, you're well, right. We should kick Lily off. Oh, uh, <laughs> shit. Really? We're going to tell her right now? We could get a fifth mic, right? No, 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 no. Uh, this is fine. We could get a five fifth mic. man podcast. Let's do it. I'm Let's down. do it. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. So, no, t- Yvonne, you didn't put on makeup to not do a podcast. Oh, yeah, I'm totally cool and taking it off 
toast. Nah, it's already on your face. Yeah. yeah. But like, you're wasting you're money by taking it off right now. I will never use the amount of makeup that I have. I toast, mean, toast, 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 toast. In up? your absence, I was a pretty good host. Okay, what did you open with? We opened with lies that we have told. Um, uh, Christmas and religion and what else did we talk about? That's all we talked about. What are some lies that you tell people, Toast? Lies I tell people? Mm-hmm. Let me guess. I never lie. Nah, he's going to say something like, catch me on Twitch.tv. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Mm, I don't really tell a lot of lies. No general deception. Nah, he's gonna general do. deception. Uh, what about as a child? You must have lied as a child. I don't remember lying. Oh, oh, I have one. Mm-hmm. My family bought me a new um, iPod Touch. Oh. For my birthday, Those are fun. Jetpack and murder. then yeah, someone stole it while I was at the gym, like during gym class, and I just oh, told my mom, "Oh, I left it in my locker because she doesn't see me playing with it." Mm-hmm. So she just says, "Hey, can you bring it home? You know, how come I haven't seen it in a while?" So I just kept up the lie, and then one day I had to confess, and she beat me <laughs> and kicked me. <laughs> And I had to sleep in the gymnasium at school that night. Wait, this got dark really what real the- fast. Oh, this is a great segue into, did your parents ever beat you? Yes. Oh, wow. A lot. Just emotionally. Really? Wait, your parents what? ever hit you? Mm-mm. You know, it's always so surprising to me when I see yeah. someone who grew up without being like oh, physically she's like. Going. Where's, that? Our, where's our fifth mic? Where's our fifth mic? Where's our fifth mic? I'm making an executive decision. Mm. It's too much five people talking, Toast. It's just better, like, Toast, uh, just admit that yeah. it's, it's I fine. Actually, I do not care. Look, yeah, you know, it's fine. Avon, let me ask about Avon, did you get beat when you were a kid? I did. <laughs> she did. Did you deserve it? Wait, who did Shut the... Kid? Stop! I didn't get hit. Did you deserve it? Just Michael, emotionally. Michael, you oh. never... Oh. Mm. Must be the new nice. generation. Yeah. Like Zoomers. Yes, yeah. yeah. Zoomers didn't get beat. Yeah. I got beat so much. Like, Same. I could literally oh, count amount. 10 different instances where they colorfully beat me. Colorfully? I mean, like, with different things. Like, coat hangers, sometimes with a belt, sometimes with just fists, sometimes, I think, with a porcelain clock. My dad mm-hmm. almost threw that at me. Mm. I fractured my toe once because of it, and I couldn't go to school because I was limping. Not a rough childhood. Hmm. <laughs> What that's about you, Toast? <laughs> mm, just that one time. Oh. Wait, that's it? Yeah, my Wait. teachers hit my hand. Oh, did they do the thing where you, like, yeah, and then a really? Yeah. The first person who hands in their test gets one lash per percentage point missing. What the fuck? It's to, like, make sure you double check double your check work. Double check your answer. So if you're first, it's like you're really confident. Mm. And if you get 90%, that's 10 lashes. I was always confident. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, good times, good times. Also, they make us uh, clean the school during a period, like recess. Isn't that like mm. an Asian thing? Yeah, that's an Asian thing. I think you that's are responsible really cool. for your own room's mm-hmm. cleanliness. Mm-hmm. Oh. But thinking back, it was just free labor. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, I think it was, it's good that kids do it. They don't do it in America. Yeah, I agree. Michael, do you feel like if you got beat when you were younger, you Oh my God, can we always. Adult, a better adult? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think we, so. we can, try we can now, test it out and, and see in like 10 years. years. Yeah, 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 we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can someone bring over the whips? Or? Coat hangers. <laughs> Those plastic coat hangers. Sometimes they broke. <laughs> I have so many stories. You want to move on? Oh. Oh my God. Perfect. What, what is, is that? that? Like, that is the thing to clear the jams from your airsoft gun that you got in the unboxing. Okay. Oh. Also to hit should, kids. We should use the airsoft gun as punishment. Oh. I feel like that would actually That's leave cool. marks. It, it would leave marks. I don't know if it will be permanent. It will not be yep. permanent. Yeah. The bruise will only be permanent in your mind. And on your body. No, that's temporary. Mm. So what did you guys talk about when it came to religion? Oh, that I just, we are all atheists. I literally just asked, like, what was are your you past with religion? And no one was religious. But we grew no, up no. with religion. Michael, do you think I'm religious? No. Hell no. 
<laughs> I, th- I think you're, if you were religious, it'd only be because your family is. No, I'm not religious. <sighs> wow, what a... What an interesting, diverse cast of crew. Okay, well, <sighs> you guys are all atheists. I'm agnostic. All right. Uh, What's well, the that's agnostic? Quirky. This yeah, is you quirky. believe there's something, but you don't know what. Yeah, maybe. pretty much. I think it's without the uh, evidence. About the, yeah, yeah, uh, it's like it's like. Yeah, a, but there could be. Yeah, there it's could be. it's like I, I gave there. A, it's like I say, could be challenger. Yeah, it's like atheist, but the probably, you know, or or maybe. Yeah, I think there is a purpose to life. Yeah, like this world really? was created for me. Really? really, I think okay. it was just. I think, oh, wow! I, I want to know what you think. I that think it was just by chance. That mm, we're alive. I don't I think it's by think chance. This. I think it's too like. You think it's too. It's too impossible random to, okay. to, for like us to have consciousness and I've, us to be. I believe like but inventing pants and I shirts, understand. right? But there are like billions and let's say like plenty of universes out there, right? Eventually, there's a chance. But that that's something our could, definition of our understanding of the universe, though. I just like you played TFT, right? We just high rolled. You know, <laughs> like all those, <laughs> all those universes without life, like that's a low roll universe, but we high roll. I feel like most people convince themselves that there is a purpose because the alternative is that we are nothing in the end. And no, that's the no, 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 no. It's that you have to find your own purpose. That's true too. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. That's fine. It's a no, little you thing. You think consciousness, like in and of itself, is so unlikely? That yeah, there must it's be a like okay. us being able to like perceive, see things. our hands, oh and recognize really? and communicate God. with others. Mm-hmm. We're go- I'll, I'll think it's just. You think it's too unlikely? Yeah, because this it's is such an a, amazing yeah. ability of yeah. what we have, like mm-hmm. talking, hearing ourselves talk, and thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's just too advanced. You know? Okay, you think there must have been some like Yeah. You don't you don't get a smartphone just by leaving a rock somewhere for a million. You, is this kind of like the thought process? It's really big high roll. That's like why pigs. <laughs> we got real lucky. Okay. Like pigs have I don't think they have like cognitive ability. They're I've smart. read Charlotte's <laughs> web, so I don't think that's true. <laughs> but why aren't we like pigs or you know, cows mm-hmm. where we're just mindless drone. But maybe there's something out there that views us as pigs on the same level as pigs. We would never know that. There's, mm-hmm. It's just so vast out there, right? Oh, my mm-hmm. eyes are watering because there's oil in my eyeball. I think that is that be, consciousness is just... I think what people theorize is, is just a better way. It was an evolution of how to like find food better. You know, like pigs kind of like roam around and go off of smell, mm-hmm. but this is just like one of the many things it could have been, like, logical conclusion of evolution. Like, it could have been, like, insane strength, but instead it turned, ended up being consciousness All right. in order so, to find food. So the way I see it is, like, let's say there's a thousand possibilities, okay? In <laughs> yes. a random number there's generator. There's a random number and generator press on his phone. generate, and it's under, like, you know, it's under 50, then potentially, like, that. let's say that's life, you know? So what did I get when I press it once? 834. That's not very lucky. Why don't you try Press it once. Six hundred sixty-nine. Here, press it once. Four hundred sixty-nine. Here, press it once. No, go along with this. <laughs> oh, he was the closest to fifty. It's sixty-six. So, you know, we're unlucky, but you know, our existence is lucky. It's like it's like the maybe there was someone or something that just kept pressing, and eventually. <laughs> This we get the below 50. <laughs> oh, there it is. You, you've been playing TFD a lot. <laughs> yeah. My life might be video games, okay? Right. Interesting. Do you guys have that sensation where it feels like you're the main character of a story? No. Always. Oh, but you might. You don't feel that way? You don't feel like... You know, there's a word for this. Yeah, um, it's called anime. No, 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 no. It's the word where you see other people and you realize everyone's the main character oh, oh, of their own oh, story. Oh, fuck. I know. I know that Som- one. Som- Wait, hold on. I actually no, know there is a word. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. word for this and I'm going to look it up because I'm... It's when you like realize that other people all have their own lives. And yes, stuff. that's like a part of um, yeah. how you recognize. It's called Sonder, the profound Sonder. feeling of realizing that everyone, including strangers passing the street, has a life as complex as one's own, which they are constantly living despite one's personal lack of awareness of it. It's a cool word. That's a milestone of like child's cognition. I think it's supposed to come at like ten or something. When Some you people never like, get it, do they? Yeah, I know they're super dumb. <laughs> Interesting. You feel this way sometimes. I feel like I'm here. With an end goal, like a purpose, mm. 
Like you were born with a purpose. Yeah. yeah. And is, it, is happiness not a enough purpose? No, for you? like I'm supposed to make an impact. Change something. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Like whether it's cure cancer, which is like at the top of the biggest impact you can have on that, the human race. That's it. Uh huh. And like. Being a video game streamer is probably like <laughs> halfway there. Hmm, this is an Ooh, interesting I'm not sure about the skill. <laughs> Wait, actually, maybe. Maybe. I feel like being okay. a, like a popular video game streamer, like you're pretty low on your social impact, right? Uh-huh. But you still have quite a... Like a- your a- YouTube channel is like 6 million views. Like there's not that... Like 7 billion people in the world? Mm-hmm. That's like... Pretty low percentage. Point one percent, but it's still like huge, right? You're impacting so many lives. But do you think you can achieve more than you're doing now? I do feel like that need, that want to like impact things more. But I, I don't know if I, as a person, like can Elon Musk, you know, can be like Elon Musk or mm-hmm. fucking send people to Mars and shit. Like he's, <laughs> his like impact on the human race is like massive, you know. Yeah. And I don't know. What would you do to leave an impact on humanity, Toast? Mm. Do you feel like you're here for a purpose? Maybe not necessarily like better society, but make a change. Money. Ah. But like the way you. <laughs> for, for, I'm not like, for the money podcast. My purpose in life is to make money. <laughs> people who make a lot of money generally create a product or service that's so. Mm-hmm. Like, they provide value. Yeah. yeah. Like Amazon. Mm-hmm. Like it's not saving the world, but like. It's as making a, lots of lives lot, more convenient. Yeah. I think living is just dying with extra steps. Really different opinions <laughs> on the sides of the table here. Yeah. I. What about you, Scaro? I think social impact, like, I don't like the idea that the more popular or the more power you have, there's, like, a some sort of idea that that person needs to have some sort of obligation to humanity. Oh. I find that, that once you put that, like, there is an obligation there, it feels like uh, it kind of cheapens the people who work hard, the effort put in to work hard to, to get to that spot. Like, once you get there, you have to have an obligation to give back. Um mm. So I think that, like, for me, like, at some point, it'd be, I very much think that, like, if I pursue what I think is going to be, give me my greatest happiness, at some point, I, my end product is going to be that I will, when I figure out that I have nothing else to do with my success, give back. But it won't be the reason, the reason I do it won't be because I'm, I'm, like, big or successful, you know? I agree. Now I feel... Sorry, I didn't follow a lot of Oh, that. my God. I'm about what our purpose in life I feel like we somehow got to social responsibility. Yeah, um, that's what I got from yours. Yeah, I don't think there is a social obligation for someone, if they're successful, to give to back, give back yeah. to the human no, race. Okay, yeah, that no. was the... It'd be nice, but yeah. uh-huh. it's not like you do you. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Would you guys donate to charity? If no one ever knew you donated to charity. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, really? I don't I care about the knowing. It's more like, I mean, I haven't donated to charity, period. <laughs> I would like to make this very clear. I mean, I, I've done stuff that, like, people don't know about. But, like, I, there's a, the reason I don't donate to charity is because, like, I just don't believe in some of the charitable things that I donate to. Mm. I don't know where the money goes. I don't know oh, yeah. any of that. So, like, if I'm going to actually donate to charity... Like, I like to do a little bit more research than just Me randomly. too, actually. They're There's ran- a lot of charity organizations that I'm actually not sure if I should o- donate yeah, to. Yeah, like, randomly <laughs> every week, someone's like, oh, can you, This like, one's help- a scam. Yeah, can you help... <laughs> or, like, can you help me out with this charity stream? I'm just like, but, like, I no. Like, I just don't really want to do that unless I've, like, kind of looked into it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I think we do... We all do nice things, but, like, not for the sake of, oh, look at me, I'm doing something nice. And even if we did terrible things, right? Like, would it... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. No, please that. finish that. No, 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 no. That train of thought was Tell us bad. about the no, terrible things. No, 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 What? What? Yeah. Even nah. if we did terrible things? Huh. What? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I'm curious. I know. I think my train of thought, like, it started, my mouth, my mouth said words. And they came <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, we can just cut it out. Just no, 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 no. I'm saying, like, like I don't he know. he doesn't even know what he was going to say. I don't know where the continuation goes. Like, dropped off like a hill, like a waterfall. Got it. Yeah. Thank God these aren't live. Yeah. Yeah, actually. 
I like how the end thing is going to be everything just gets cut. And so we're going to have like a 30 minute <laughs> podcast. People like, that was really short this time. <laughs> how do we start talking about social responsibility? I don't know. I think it's your purpose, which came from religion. Because yeah. most religious people believe uh, there's a purpose. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's nice to believe there's a purpose. But in the end, we just create it for ourselves. Yeah. I just, I don't know. It's like either you can believe in one or you can find yeah. one yourself. Yeah, you do you. Have you guys as long ever as had it like hurt people. real near death experience, like where you felt yes. like you were gonna die? Oh yeah. Oh, like, what was your like thoughts going through your heads? Like, is this spicy. it? Mine was really? oh fuck! I, why chicha. did I touch the high voltage line of my house? <laughs> <laughs> that is such a micro. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was the spicy chip challenge. Oh yeah, you had, I, oh, you had more time to think about. Death I was then. delirious with pain in Fed's backseat of the car while he was getting a blanket, and I was alone. I was sweating. I was pale. I couldn't like think. And I remember thinking, like, dude, this is how I'm gonna go. <laughs> this is how I'm like gonna die, like from a spicy chip. Like I felt so helpless. Yeah. Like I didn't like it. Uh, remember last Christmas test. Oh, the no, the turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last Thanksgiving, Uh, a Greek tried to put out an oven fire with water. A grease fire with water. And that is not how you do that, by the way. And uh, after that ended, I remember sitting down and Toast just looking at me being like, we could have died. (laughs) We could have died. And like, the look on his face was like him trying to overcome like a near-death experience. And I I, I was over it instantly. I was like, yeah, we could have. But we did it. Hey. I think, yeah. Modern appliances. I never hear like places blowing up anymore with a gas leak. Yeah. Does that still happen? I'm sure. I'm sure. sure. No, really. Anything you can think of, it happens. But like, rarely. I feel like gas leak is such a like. You turn on I the stove and without it lighting, it's such an easy people thing. People still die from slipping on shower floors. Yeah. Like, you know, people die from like anything. I think it would be from like breaking the gas line behind the stove, or like I think water heaters explode sometimes. Which is or like carbon super monoxide cool poisoning. Hmm. I want to use a pressure cooker, but like oh, I hear scary. those explode yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, they really do. There was a post I saw where someone's chair exploded, and what? that scared me so. Ow. No, you know the the spinning. That's not the oh chair. yeah, oh. the the pneumatic in it like oh. and then like, it exploded and, and then they died. Ever? Yeah. Oh, or did they, they die died? or did they go into the hospital? I don't Holy remember. Shit. But that made me like. I'm gonna mm. sit on a nice wooden chair. Really? All, all I think about is like uh, it's still so t- statistically unlikely. And if it happens to me, whatever. Like True. I can't. I, it, one thing I learned in life is not to worry about too much because I'm not a natural worrier. I like to worry about shit. So like I try to. Like, You're just, definitely type six. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I I try not to worry about stuff too five, much. Five, Anything six, I can't control, nine. I just don't think about. You know. Death through multiple inanimate objects that I commonly use every day could happen. Who cares? Mm-hmm. Death while flying airplane. Do you guys get to have fear of flying? No, no, flying. no. Only when it's like really turbulent. Listen, if you're up there and the plane is gonna crash, you're fucked anyway. So what's the point of being scared? <laughs> well, some people just never go up. I literally Wikipedia aviation accidents before flying just to oh like hype my myself God. up. <laughs> what are the chances <laughs> of me surviving? What do you mean hype yourself? Zero, 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 zero. Low. Just keep it, keeping it real. Real. Yeah. Oh my God. If there's a problem at the plane, are you the type to just like lay back and? peacefully accepted I think or I would, would be running up and down the aisle like what I, can we do I would buy Wi-Fi and try to say goodbye to my friends and family <laughs> Man, yeah. that's the only thing like what else do you do right excuse you're, me you're dead miss what's the Wi-Fi password <laughs> 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 it's like you pull your credit card to input <laughs> let me buy the buy 30 like minute card <laughs> but I mean like I would want to do that I think that's important to say goodbye yeah, at least it would be nice to have time I, I just try to be calm because I try to like come to terms yeah. and accept yeah. like all the fun things now I did I never and fly. then die. <laughs> you guys are making me never want to fly. This is depressing. You know, there was those, um, I don't know if it was for 9 11, but one of the plane crashes where they saved the last recording of the black box oh, yeah. people in the plane where they say goodbye to their wives oh, or family. That was the most heartbreaking really thing depressing. ever. Yeah. Like coming to terms with your own mortality, like you know, when you're going to die in a plane crash. It's, it's very hard to think about. Mm-hmm. And we just, you know, trust that we won't die. Mm. There's a bigger chance of dying from car accidents, too, so. Yeah. That's got morbid really fast. Yeah. So. Do you guys have any irrational fears? Like oh. flying? Oh. My loft bed? 
Okay. Can I tell a story? That yeah. is very rash. I have not slept on my loft bed for the past like week or so. I've been sleeping on the floor because I have this irrational fear of it breaking and me falling. Thank mm. you for listening. Okay, well. So what's your irrational fears? Would you guys like to start? Or follow up? Mm. Home invasion? Mm. That is That's scary. pretty irrational in London. I feel like yeah. that's rational. Especially when we lived in our old house. And, and the like, people knew who we were. People knew who we were. And yes. like, we had fans walk in. That was scary. That is completely rational. Yeah. It's it, like, all it takes is like one person yeah, to one, fuck like, up everything. Guy. Yeah. Like just a maniac with a gun. It's like, it's over, right? Like, what do you do? You die. Well, we have swords. We can <laughs> Sword against the guns? <laughs> That'd be sick. We have Nerf guns now. We have airsoft guns. Something I think about, like, when I have even plumbers over, it's like, well, there's two giant buffed plumber guys. <laughs> if they wanted to kill me, they literally can. I can't do anything about it. Like, that, those thoughts cross my head. Really? Huh. Anyone like, can kill you if they really want yeah, to, right? Like, At any it's time. It's just, do you think about every instance of someone being able to kill you? Sometimes I do, like... Wow. Wow. Yeah, I think it's, sometimes it's like comes with the nature of maybe being a public figure. No, too. it's because he's overly. No, there. It all it takes is one person. Like I don't blame him. The, the story that stands out the most is Christina Grimmies for me. Like that always like yeah. that that like shook me so much because that was the point where I'm like, holy shit. This can just happen. This yeah. can just oh, happen. And then it was at a meet and greet, right? Yes. Yeah. She and then it did fan. happen at a video game tournament, a Madden tournament. Oh, that really? was. Yeah. That was fucked up. I remember watching, I think it was the stream of that yeah. happening. And it was like, you could hear like. there was It was streamed? Yeah. yeah. It was a live stream on Twitch. It was a tournament. And then one of the losers was oh. upset and just shot the winner. <laughs> That's a fucking insane. That's but stories yeah. like that have. That's like, so scary because you you don't know like you can't go living your life like not trusting everyone you meet obviously but yeah. that's that's very terrifying. Yeah, I'm happy at this point. I'm really happy that I can like just not worry about that stuff. Yeah, for, for me naturally, I can just like I'm I'm never worried about people like sneaking to the house or any of that because like really you, no not at all not ever. I sleep like a fucking baby. I I do too. Like if, but... no no literally if we had left if we leave our doors unlocked. Not that we do, but if we did, like, I'm not worried if, like, the next day people are like, oh, my God, like, the doors were unlocked, no one locked them. It's like, okay. Because yeah. for me, it's like, I accept it because either, either like, someone hmm. could have came in and killed us and didn't, or nothing happened. It was, yeah. It's a great day. You uh-huh. Know? Well, we have a very good security system yeah. that locks all the doors, and it would detect if anybody broke in. <laughs> and so that's courage. actually bullshit. It's a scary world out there. Stay safe. Can, can we start with anything positive? Like, I feel like... Uh, no, this is the negative I like negative. I actually really like indulging in negativity sometimes because... No, no, listen. Look, the, my logic is the closer I am to, like, that kind, that side of me, the, m- the more I can, like, accept it and, like, joke around with it. Does that make sense? Mm. I That's why I make fun of my depression anxiety a lot because it like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's a good coping yeah. mechanism. It's a coping mechanism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, but we could talk about something positive. Like, yeah, yeah. maybe a little bit more uplifting. I think this is our Christmas episode. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if you guys forgot that, but I think I sure it's our did. holiday episode. So, um, uh, you know, I'm excited <laughs> for Christmas mm-hmm. to spend it with friends. Like toast. Like toast. Are you? Well, you're leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Never mind. Mm. Wait. Well, so the house is literally just gonna be me, me Michael, Michael, Lily, and Fed. That's more than half of you guys. I think Fed's going back for a couple. Days. No, yeah, he, he's gone for his family. I don't think he's bit. gone like not a long time. It's like yeah. two days. I think so. so it's technically, the four of you. I don't make three, it look three, like three, this. Three, 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 no, you can't fed it. Yeah. That he's no, gone he's for two gone. days. He's gone for two days and then he's he back. He's gone. All right. What can happen in this? Making it look days. like the pity party here, huh? And you still have to take turns streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you guys taking turns streaming? Yeah, right? bandwidth is so Okay, bad you know today house? I started yeah. streaming at one thirty, and I'm like, all right, Scara, I'm going to stream until four p.m. That's your time block, okay? So I played exact number of league games. I'm like, fuck, I really want to stream more. But we you know what? We have to honor the yeah. time block. I ended my stream and I'm like, Scara, your turn. And I started at like 4.10 and streamed till 8. So this, we, 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 we maximized so the time. Yeah, the spectrum is the devil. 
yeah. they're bad people. Ooh. It's actually really funny though. Uh, <laughs> like having yeah, blood. Yeah, it is really funny. Okay, question. So, what if you took? Would you guys ever take a sponsor for a company that's done you wrong? Like, for instance, no. let's say Spectrum has done us dirty the last couple, like the last week or so. But all of a sudden, they're like, you know what? We saw what happened, and we want to sponsor you guys. How much money are they paying? It's all every. It's all about the money. I yeah, mean. they can pay enough to assuage the pain I felt from their shitty internet. Of course. One k. What? That's it. One k. Um, what? A month. What? Okay, well, I'm just trying to see where your lower end 1K is. One k a month. Yeah. No, she'll do it for eight k a month. I would do it. For that's 8K a lot. A month. I would do it for eight k a month. But that's the point. Like it, it has a price. Uh, yes, Chad. Loyalty has, has a, a price. price. Yeah. Well, I would insult Temi for any amount of money. Mm, bullshit. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You could offer me a billion. I would at some money amount, less than a billion. You can offer me, and I would steal Temi and replace Temi <laughs> with another dog. <laughs> so let me let you, let me be very clear. No! There is a money amount for anything. Some things are not, you know, there's some things are priceless. Not no, that's one of the ultimate pranks, in my opinion, to replace someone's dog and figure how long it takes for them I to realize. I would tell immediately. See, you say that now. I know the ins and outs and of my dog. And that's fine. And then we can use this clip and that and voice then we, clip. And then we pull out Tammy now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to. She has dog. so many like specific features about her that I have memorized. Mm. Oh, oh right. we should have replaced her with. Did a you know she has? So we could have blamed oh, the movement on different the new environment. Really only yes. three front teeth. Okay, keep going. I want to know these. All these. <laughs> traits of Tammy. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. No. Would you be upset if it did turn out we replaced Tammy and you didn't realize it? It's never going to happen. I uh, hypothetically. I can't be upset at this hypothetical, hypothetical. situation because this situation what, would what, never what happen. Look, cloning is getting more and more, you know, <sighs> popular. So what if we clone Tammy? Then wouldn't that just be Tammy? Are what you okay with a uh, clone? Yeah, but are you okay with a clone? Yeah. Look, I would prefer... I would if you gave me the clone, right? And you're like, just kidding. Here's the real one. I keep both because they're both Temi in the end. What if like? Right. But then, what if you made a third Temi? Would you keep the third Temi, or would I you would have not people make put it down? More Temi. Okay. To what begin if someone with? just kept making more Temi? They need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What if in the process of pranking you, we messed up and the first Temi died, but we, but like we have a clone Temi. Yeah, we have a clone. You Temi. better not tell me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You okay. Not Ignorance is bliss. Okay. 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 Yeah, but what if you me. had that option? Temi died, and you can clone her. No. 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 I would never clone my dog. You, you wouldn't clone her to, to bring her back? Her? Oh wait, 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 wait. So we're assuming that she died already. She died already. Yeah. She's dead. So this is giving me a chance to bring her to back. Bring her right? back. But it's a clone. Yes. I mean, yeah, I would do it. Okay. Okay. But what if it's one of us? What do you mean? So what if Michael died? Okay. Why would she make that decision? Well, <laughs> well, so Lily just came into a lot of this money a lot of because pressure. she's, oh, she's she now a multi bajillionaire. Okay, okay, yeah. And then Michael died. Okay. The freak lightning yeah. accident killed him. He tased himself. Yeah, yeah, okay. And you have the option to bring him back as a clone. As a clone. But it would still be the same Michael, right? Yeah. Yeah. You oh, would still, okay. Would you still grow up to now, be the same? Cloning is because di- you like start as a baby with cloning. Oh, I thought right? we were just making a complete replica of you. Okay, he so keeps that's... all his personality, but none of his uh, memories. But doesn't mm. aren't personality like composed of some memories? Well, I I, now we're getting a little philosophical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if it was like nurture. a it was a replica of you, Michael. Yeah, of course I would do it. But if it was like from a baby, what if, what if he specifically was like, please don't do it? Then I wouldn't. Then do you. It. But he's dead. But it's oh, his maybe wish. his clones like kill me. No, his clones' last <laughs> memory would be him requesting me, "Don't do it." Right? Uh, oh, we can take that part out. You know, what part? What part? The clone memory. We can just take that clone memory out, so he doesn't remember the clone. Ah. Memory. Sorry, I'm just really curious what you think. Okay. Maybe I don't. I still don't think. Are I'm you good. with? It's his last are wish. you okay with cloning yourself and harvesting them for organs no. when you need it? No. Hell yeah. Yeah, oh free God. organs. Yeah, but you're cloning yourself with your personality, okay, your but, memories Okay, intact? I think if you just kept them, if they never got to wake in up, their yes. Pods. If they never got to mm-hmm. wake up, yes, in their pod, you know? Yeah. like. <laughs> but you're still cloning me, like, or no, you, I know. or whatever. Yeah. You as it is, like, with all your memories, your yeah. personality, what makes you you? You're killing that from the get-go. But to I, save you. Or make money. Huh, I don't it, as long I'd as they couldn't wake up to perceive how fucking awful it was, <laughs> then yes. 
You know? <laughs> if they never gain... Yeah, because then yeah. they're without consciousness. You can't, like, have your personality without consciousness. You know what I mean? It's just the potential of consciousness. This is more philosophical. This is I... the most philosophical <laughs> yeah. podcast I've ever been part I've of. I've never... Like, it, conversation Classic. Wise. Put this on with the family in front of a warm fire in the <laughs> holidays. And the first question with your family should be, would you clone each other? How <laughs> <laughs> you feel uh, about cloning technology? Let's go a little bit lighter. Positive? Positive? More positive. We keep okay. trying. Favorite? Person in offline TV, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Favorite it is myself. cartoon when you were younger? Powerpuff Girls. Oh, Really? Oh, actually, Pokemon and Sailor Moon. Okay. Sailor Moon is not technically a cartoon, but you know. I mean. Okay, we'll take it. Mm-hmm. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Probably Courage the Cowardly Dog. Well, Pop of Girls was the shit. That was a good choice. What about you? Mm, Kim Possible. Oh, Kim Possible was the shit. Call yeah, me, yeah, beat me really if you want to reach. Oh, did I love Fairly Odd Parents too? It was, yeah, that was shit. Like shit. Jimmy I like Jimmy Neutron a lot. Oh, yeah. I want to be like Jimmy Brain Neutron. Brain Blast. Every day. Yeah. Um, wow, there were some good cartoons. What about you, Scar? Hey, Arnold was good, I too. liked the um, Justice League and Static Shock. Oh, Static oh, Shock was cool. Static Shock was cool. Oh, yeah. Static... I always forget about Static Shock. Yeah. Do you remember the Jackie Chan adventure? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! The With Adventures the of the Dragon like Warrior. Jackie. <laughs> Chinese, like, Yumo, Wei, Guai, Five, Yi, Zai. Oh, my God. Do you remember... Ha- Fuck, what's that other one? The one with the bald kid. Oh, only. I know what you're oh, talking Shallon about. Shallon oh, Shallon Showdown. Shallon Showdown was my Showdown. every week. I, was I, on my I, was, I love Shallon Showdown. Yeah. Oh my god, these are so like nostalgic. <laughs> that was a really weird show. It was, hindsight. but I liked yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, you watched Courage. Courage was not a okay, yeah, show. Yeah, it was. That freaky. was a fucked up show. Is, oh, I guess Airbender's not like that old, but Avatar, Avatar yeah. the Last Airbender. That's, that's it's pretty old, like, right? Yeah, I loved that show. Yeah. I never found out about the show till I was already an adult. I found it in my twenties. Oh, dude! Was still never... I can say that now. I, I before couldn't say in my twenties. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna <laughs> die soon. No, you're not. Oh shit! We can talk about dogs like positive. Okay, can we cut, cut that, that part? Out? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> sure, whatever. My positive. <laughs> cut that part out. I'll <laughs> Favorite Christmas. Christmas memories? Do you have any of those? Uh, no, Christmas is just a social construct. <laughs> a social construct. Uh, you said it. <laughs> it's true. I like it because it's like you know we get to hang out with each other. You know, mm. that's the only I, reason. I've actually celebrated more Christmases uh, away from my family than with. Because at some oh. point, at, at some point, like Christmas stopped being like a big thing for my family. Like I. Huh. At some, yeah, I don't know when, but like probably when I was like sixteen or seventeen, I was just I told my family I was like just don't buy me gifts, like I, I don't need anything, like I'm good. And then like they just stopped. <laughs> Usually your your family's like oh you know we can we can get we'll get you something, but like I think like there was a period of time before offline started where I I just didn't get a Christmas gift for like five years. <laughs> and I was I was okay with that. You excited for your secret Santa? Yeah. Oh, did we tell people that we were doing that? We're doing a secret ah, Santa. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Are you happy with who you got? Who'd you get, Toast? Just kidding. It's a secret uh, Santa. Yeah. I'm okay yeah. with this person. I'm very yeah. curious, like, I'm, who everyone has. I would has. say getting Pokey a present is probably the toughest. I think that's max difficulty. I think it's the hardest one. Because too. you can't go for monetary value. Exactly. You can't yeah. afford anything. What do you give a god? Yeah, but you I, know? I'm sure whoever got her will still be fine. Okay, uh, and I think getting, on the reverse end, getting Lily a present is the easiest. Wait. Mm. Because literally you can get her anything and she'll, be, she'll take it. Mm. That's, oh. that's the old me. The this new, is the new Now me. the current one's gonna throw that shit in the fireplace <laughs> if they don't like it. The new me is more, you know. There's no way. Actually, it's a present. As long as you put thought in it, I actually don't care. You could, See? you could get me a freaking ring pop and I'd be happy. No, no you, you would. would. I would. No. If it's from if you had a nice card with it, yeah, I would. Easy. Like I like sentimental things. So if you have like you know, words of affirmation. I am a sucker for those kind of easy. things. Easy. I'm not easy, mm. Scar. <laughs> Stop calling me easy. I'm very difficult, actually. Okay. I got pretty lucky with my person for Secret Santa. Oh, uh, why? Oh, why is that? Why are mm. you can lucky? expand upon it later. Oh, okay. We, yeah, I, I I got pretty something too for my person. Pretty oh, much. you guys are. S- hmm. Well, hmm. we'll see at the Secret Santa. Are we gonna stream this or no? 
I don't think Probably so. Probably can't because it everyone's would be pretty away. scattered. Okay. Yeah. I will. Oh, put wait. It on my you blog. guys are. Everyone's gone, right? So we were calling in like half the people. Oh, do we have. Oh, I we think gotta we do schedule. it in a circle. Yeah, we like, schedule it. Yeah. I really want to do that. Mm. Can we put like cute music in the background and everyone sits in the circle and we're like, we just talk about how much we appreciate each other and give each other gifts. Like, nah. And then we can talk about Enneagrams. Nah. Okay, especially <laughs> no to that last <laughs> One of these days, we're going to have a podcast with just any crimes. And I will not be on it, nor will anyone in the house. It'll I'll just, be on it by it'll myself. It'll just be her and her dog. One time, I walked into Michael's room while he was working, and I sat down and talked about any crime for two hours. He didn't chase me out. It was just in the background. It was like a good podcast. Oh, it was a good music. podcast, right? It's like white noise. It was like white noise. I was like soldering You paid soldering attention, shit. right? Huh? You paid attention, right? <laughs> To the parts I, I liked. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Which were the parts that you liked? It was the parts about me. Oh. Ah. So all the parts about me you didn't hear. Hmm. Okay. Is that enough positivity? Can we go back to... T- <laughs> <laughs> dark, dangerous Can we go back thoughts? to dark philosophical things? I feel like we're just not... Living is just dying from extra. What do we call it? Christmas. Christ Mass. Christ, Christ Mass? I think yes. so. What does the Mass stand for? Like Mass. You go to Mass? Christ Mass. Mass is like going to church. I don't think that's true. Uh, I, don't think that's true I don't know. There's an explanation, but I have to Google it. Yeah. So Christ was born on December 25th. Uh, it, oh, I don't know. I. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. You're talking to four people who don't study. Like, we don't know shit, Joseph. I yeah. should. I went like, to church growing up. I went to church too. You know what? I did mm. church. I slept. I left and looked at clouds. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Like, we have BC and AD for years, right? Before December Christ. 25th. Huh? Like, BC for before Christ. Yeah, Jesus right. was born on the 25th. But why, why, why not just have, like, the new year, like, January 1st, be the day that Christ was born? So, BC makes more sense. You can't choose when Jesus was born, okay? But we set the year BC and AD. You if we just set the difference... Take- Take a time machine, go back and ask your ancestors. Or not your ancestors. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Like, the birth of Christ. He's angry about the five days in between the birth of Christ and New Year's. Mark the BC era and the AD era. While they were, like, separating that, why not just, you know, change the calendar a little bit? I feel like it's the same reason why we still use, like, inches while everyone else uses no i think that's i think that's a very different thing you're talking about (laughs) (laughs) also who agreed to like use bc as a measuring device there's more religion than just christianity right i think it was the the western world the The christians Christians, did they didn't consult the buddhists the muslims before just saying hey bc is the way no, I, I, I don't think they respected the yeah. other religions. <laughs> I don't. I also don't think there were like you know, cell phones back then or like. Oh, okay, like, we, oh, can you call the Buddhist? Yeah. Real <laughs> call quick? Buddha. You know, a, but we have off. it now, so we can make the change now. I think right? now that's the same reason we don't use metrics. Oh, we just kind of like it's you know what? It's how we've been See? doing it. Yeah. See, yeah. I had a point. It. The metric system and the imperials. <laughs> Okay, so originally when we started this podcast, I assumed it'd be really easy to get to number 10 and then see how it feels from there. Number 10 what? Like the 10th podcast in a row. Oh. And now that we're on podcast number four, I feel like we're already running out of ideas. No, we're not. This was very interesting. I liked our topics today. I like talking about these things. Yeah, Scar, why are you such a negative Nancy, huh? He, this is he's gaslighting. He's like trying to like okay. emotionally manipulate. I will say this: every time I'm talking to someone and they use either the term gaslighting, I hate it. dog whistling, <laughs> what's the other no one? one? Says that. Uh, Dude, I, I just uh, there's there's, mean there's it. a lot: <laughs> dog whistling, gaslighting, fish galloping. Keep going, keep going. We understand. But all these like politics words <laughs> that I hear destiny. Use. Okay, gaslighting is also a word used in, you know, relationships and stuff. I keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to have this discussion if you're going to pull out these political you, buzzwords. You already mentioned this before, remember? And we agreed that we could... <laughs> oh, you know what keep else? Going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. You already mentioned this before. Are you going crazy? Are you okay? That's- Stop gaslighting me. <laughs> yeah, it's gaslighting. Oh, another. So- I like talking about social faux pas. If you what? say sorry and you follow that 
with, with but. the word if or but. It's like, okay, you're not. Okay, you know, shut the fuck up. You know, mm-hmm. you don't really mean it. Like sometimes I'll be in an argument with Janet, and cool. she'll say, if she says sorry if the first thing out of my mouth before she finishes, you said if, so I don't accept it. <laughs> It's probably not the <laughs> most Maybe we should have, keep I have that to, in. I don't I want that no, 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 intro. No, no, no. It's not the healthiest thing. But that's one of my like pet peeves. I don't like it when yeah, people when type like sorry if sorry or sorry but. caveat. Yeah. I feel like the oh actually maybe never mind. Mm, Finish that say, sentence. Lily? Maybe cut this out. But like I feel like even if let's say you fuck up really bad, right? And uh-huh. you apologize. And even if your apology is like the best thing on earth, like people will still tear you apart for it. I'm not referring to anything specific. Yeah. Oh, I could tell you yeah, weren't. Okay. But I'm just I noticed that like uh-huh. you can you can fuck up and you can have you can do the apology right. Like, I'm sorry, this is what I did, this is what I'm gonna do, like blah blah blah. Oh, and like people yeah. will still tear you apart, like, oh you're not actually sorry about no, I mean of course, because it's like everyone comes from different I don't know, upbringing. What's the point situations? of apologizing? I, if they're just be, gonna, I think to mitigate that, I think it would make it worse maybe, if they didn't. Yeah, yeah, you, you, that's you, the only. You, I think it would just be to. You apologize yeah. for like two things, right? You apologize for other people and you apologize for yourself. Mm. Whether or not you need those two things is uh, up to the situation. Like sometimes, like a lot of the public apologies are for like other people, right? Mm. But like, yeah, yeah. When it comes to internet apologies, it's like it's so funny. people it's like, will say you're not really sorry. It's, I feel you're like it's a meme because, at this point. Like yeah. internet, like, oh, are you gonna hug your dog and look at your camera? Like you know, people meme. Yeah. Internet oh, apologies no, no, no. start it with a sigh. Start yeah, the video don't, with a don't sigh. get me wrong. If I fuck up tremendously, I'm gonna take Mimi and Tammy <laughs> into my room and I'm gonna hug both of them and be like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" <sighs> <sighs> and I'm <I'm> like. <laughs> It's been a bad couple of days. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, you've been practicing yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm telling you, like, I know exactly how it's going to go. And I will be very sorry, trust me, that I will have to stoop to that level. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think apologies are... I'm at a point in my career where I just feel like apologies will never make people happy. So I'm like, fuck you guys. I'm going to double down on my position. Mm. Like, okay. I think you only. I think when you like really fuck up, like you say something really racist, and you're just being a racist, then yeah, you can apologize for that. But most things, I feel like you don't have to apologize for these days. I mean, I feel yeah. like you know who says that? Old people. You know, they say old people stop stop giving like a fuck as they get older. Oh. That's how I feel. Right now, I'm getting a lot of flame for playing in the Tyler One yeah, Championship I, Series. I, I would just ignore it. Like people shit. saying, like, I ruined the tournament. That's I just not compromised. True. I got that in Twitch Rivals, too. Yeah, it's like, I could apologize, but it's like, I didn't do anything wrong. And well, I apologize for it. Too. See? You shouldn't apologize, right? I, I know. You didn't but do anything wrong. It, it's, it feels bad. Like, with, with so many, like, Literally thousands of people telling you how much you suck and it yeah. was your fault. Like it gets Are you. Are you ruined? And then I'm like, oh yeah. shit, maybe I did ruin. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I didn't mean to. Like it's just like weird. Was your apology genuine? I was. I was like genuinely like really sorry that. Did you know what you were apologizing for? I was sorry that I played bad pretty much. Like I was apologizing for my play pretty See, much. Like it was you, weird. You're apologizing for public perception. No, I was apologizing for how shitty I played. Like, legit. Mm. I was really bad. <laughs> I can't even make excuses. I was, like, terrible. But I was, you don't I, have to apologize for that. Yeah. You, yeah, but... Like, it's, for it's, someone to apologize in a tournament for playing poorly, like, fuck you, I would... Sh- yeah. That's just... I guess that's what happens when you're popular, you know? Yeah, I mean, it comes with it. Yeah. Whatever. Like, to- it's whatever. Like, like, do you think how crazy it is for Toast to get flack for... For this, you know, for getting a week later, no one's gonna care. Yeah, not even a week later. Not too. even a yeah. week tomorrow, later. Tomorrow, like, tomorrow, it's gonna be, it's gonna be yeah. something else. We're, we're gonna we're we're casting tomorrow, and then what's gonna happen is people are like, wow, your casting was great. They just forget about it. Yeah. Yeah. Although I still meme void staff Morgana in my chat sometimes. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's funny. just it's yeah. funny to joke about it, like later. Michael, are you happy you're not like a like a public figure in the sense that you are constantly on air or or public yes, every day? Yes, I think. God, every time I realize I don't have to wake up and stream. Yeah, I still thank God. (laughs) That's how much I like not having to stream every day. How is living here? It's fun. With people. It's fun. It's nice to live with people. Mm -hmm. It's. I understand that. Yeah. I like it too. I think it's nice because eventually we're not going to. 
But while we can, I want to take advantage of it's it. It's really dark. Anyone else feel that? It's a chill. I'm Ooh. sorry. It's chill in the room. That's, I'm just being. That's Lily Pichu. Oh, yes. I'm trying to Her be. Her fucking depression's coming in. I'm being realistic. So it makes you appreciate the time we have that much more. Like every time our lease is up, like we've had close calls with OTV, you know, potentially ending or imploding our right many, many times before. And it makes me really appreciate that we're still here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Do we know do we know what <laughs> every, I mentioned this? Every, you mentioned it before, every, that's why. Every year in OTV, I just feel like we're it's, we're going great. I'm oh, okay. You, All right. you know what? It's cool. <laughs> no, I, you know, yeah. Sometimes it's like stuff can go up in flames, but you know. We're if still it, here. If it went up in flames, then it goes up in flames. And now this time, if it goes up in flames, it's probably because Michael fucking set something off. Yeah. Literal flames. Literal yes, fire. actual flames. You know what would be really interesting if our, we, our house just caught on fire somehow? Yeah, That's that not... I don't want that to happen. Yeah, but it would that be cool, would be right? quirky. That's really quirky. Do you guys yeah. pay for it or does insurance cover it? I think if you have renter's insurance... Yeah, you, if you have renter's yeah. insurance, it's actually the... Um, the people, the the, the insurance company pays for it, so we don't have to feel that bad. No, no, no. we wait, just, we just need a new place. Yeah, that's fine. you know how hard it is finding a new place. You know how hard if it is. If this internet ha- continues for another week, <laughs> well, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll I'll pick up I'll pick up the matches myself. You uh, know, I need to sign up for health insurance today. What? This is the last day of this year to sign up for health insurance. Well, shit. You too. You guys want to sign up for health insurance? Yeah, this? I, yeah, I'm well, down to do it. Today. I don't know. Yeah, the fifteenth is. Oh like my! Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, I have I, I've been all over this. I've applied, I've been in the like I had years where I didn't have health insurance, and I remember telling you and Fed specifically to apply for health insurance this year. Do you remember that? You did tell me this, but I just kind of like hope and pray that I never get sick. Mm. After this podcast, we're going to go sign up for health insurance. All Everyone right, guys? here, except for me, who already has health insurance. Okay. Mm. I've kind of just, up until now, been like, guess I'll die. But, you know. <gasps> now you want to live? No, I'm afraid of, like, getting hurt and just being maimed forever. You know what uh, I mean? That would suck. Yeah. Uh, yeah Living's that would, that whatever. Would suck. But, you know. Living in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer mm. not to. Yeah. So, health insurance podcast afterwards. Okay, well, let's end it on a positive talk. We just haven't been able to find one of those. You guys, are this has been the I, saddest am, podcast just, ever. I, I'm sure. Are you guys I, like what, what's what's ha- good in your life? What's ha- what's good? What's happening? That's good. Okay, good. You got shower curtains today. I got new shower curtains. My room setup is looking good. Yeah. I'm very. I'm much more comfortable in my new room than uh-huh. the old one. You remember how messy the old one was? Yes. It was really bad. We had wires everywhere. You can ask Michael about those wires. Well, my, um, yeah, it was really bad. It was disgusting and Yeah, and then, like, you know, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nightmare we, fuel, someone's fuel. Mm-hmm. We're surrounded by disgusting friends. We're going to spend Christmas together. It's exciting. Every day is new and exciting. I'm trying my best to be optimistic right now. Give me something. Toast. What do we have to be We're alive. Uh, well, you know... A couple of days ago, we had that unboxing shoot. Yeah. And we were all in the kitchen eating ramen mm. that we ordered. And I kind of looked around and was like, you know what? This is pretty cool. Aww. Uh, I remember really that because I thought the same thing. Yeah. No, I, I, I you yeah. know. Ah, shit. Uh, sure. no, no, now I you're just it. trying to put <laughs> it on me and scar us. I think it ev- all the time. I just don't like uh, mention yeah. it every <laughs> single time. Guys. Michael, what were you thinking about during that moment? This is some good ass ramen. Hey. <laughs> that ramen was pretty good. Yeah. I appreciated okay. how everyone was there. I always like it when we all gather to eat together. Mm. Even in the old house, remember we ordered like food every like yeah. like toast ordered food every. Do you, do you remember how nice it is to be able to have a dining table that we sit around? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that? We have a table now. Okay, who's gonna sit around it? We never sit around. Even in the old old house, we sat around the couch. But I like that. I s- yeah. I yeah, like the comfiness. We, 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 we just like okay. chilling. Okay. Let's talk about problems, okay? We're going back to... Oh. Wait, I thought we were ending <laughs> on the pauses. No, 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 we're going back to problems. Thank you for watching Michael, our podcast. Michael. Episode uh-huh. four. Why do you have so many fucking Amazon boxes in the Listen, house? Man. Oh, do you know? I actually... I was watching him browse his computer, right? I just see him open Amazon. Bye now. 
Uh, I know. He had the one click order the one, thing. I I and I, I was really? so shocked That's at dangerous. how many times he clicked buy now in the span of like 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. I actually scrolled through his Amazon orders. I couldn't oh, yeah. stop scrolling. Look, look, look. Okay, our last couple few. houses, it was like a running joke that Pokey is the reason why we're like. Michael is the new one. We have like all these boxes every fucking day. Now it's like, I didn't understand like a f- true disaster until like, <laughs> it struck us. Every day there's like eight boxes that come in from Amazon. And it's, by God, I have one order in the span of a week. I have to sift through 36 boxes <laughs> and be like, shit, is this one safe? Is this Pokey is this or one- Michael? Yeah. Yeah, is this Pokey or Michael? And then randomly like Lily will have seven from, from Arya and I'll be like, fuck. <laughs> the worst part is I bring them up to my room like every day I get them. Yeah. And, and it's just more every there's day. There's just 20. Why do you order so many? Ma- it's like tools and stuff. None of it's like personal. No, like for I, me. I did yeah. see it. It's all like things I don't even know existed, really. Mm. Yeah. It's like there's an air compressor. So in front you're saying of at yeah. some point it's going to stop coming in as rapid. Pro- yeah, it'll slow down because I'm like kind of finishing off like everything I need in general for, but you know, like every new video. I, I will remember this stuff. moment. Okay. Because it has not slowed down in the last two weeks. Yeah, if anything, it's sped as, up. In yeah. The last as we speak, weeks. there is a huge pile of There are 25 boxes upstairs right now, probably. <laughs> and he has the equivalent of that in his room, I think, as well. Something like, it's crazy. Something like that. I have to rebuild my shop of stuff, mm-hmm. like my workshop of things. So ending on a positive note. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching our podcast. Happy holidays. Bye. I can. God, that was a satisfying oh, podcast. Wait, 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 wait. Do we need to tell him to like, comment, subscribe, yes. and the Apple thing? That's the positivity. Okay. Let's go. Michael, go. You're the new person. I don't right. know what the Apple thing is. So, tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. I tell them that our podcast is available on Apple. And our podcast Spotify. is Spotify. available on Apple and, and, Spotify. and Spotify. Really? Yeah. When did wow. that shit happen? Whoa, we're legit. Yay. Yay. Aww, Positivity. Positive makes ending. Makes me feel happy that there are people who just have the audio version of this. Like, they don't see us. They just hear us, you know? That's yeah, cool. as they're taking this shit, they're listening in their to car. Lily, Pichu, and Michael talk, talk about, about uh, po- no talk, talk about consciousness, us, talk about consciousness and life, and mm-hmm. you know social obligations. Okay, this yeah, is but the worst podcast I've ever been on. What? I, I, what? It was so yeah. It was. It's it was very, pretty. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry. Worst. I make quirkiest. Bye. <laughs>